Good morning. Journaling a Bible verse or two is one of the latest journal for the Bible reading journal series. And we're going to take a quick look at it today and um, see what it looks like inside. These are the contents. His grace. There is a daily prayer and a couple of few devotionals, standing on shaking grounds, abide in him, in pursuit of wisdom. Practice strengthens our muscles, and then you will have an illustration with the Bible reading journal series infrastructure. And then you'll be able to journal a verse or two a day for 52 weeks. Isn't that amazing? You can do this journal an entire year. This is one of the poems that um, reflections I had one morning as I woke up and I was about to do my quiet time. I titled it His Grace. When we are caught in fierce storms of life, an inescapable shadow of darkness overwhelms our souls. All we need is His light to shine the way out. Yes, we've got to surrender, believe, and trust. Our Lord hears our cries for joy, our cries for help, our cries for hope. He hears our cries for mercy. He also hears our cries for repentance, forgiveness, and compassion. His grace is sufficient in our pain, our fears, our anger. And his, all, his grace is also sufficient in our despair, distress, weakness, and loneliness. He walks alongside of all of us whose spirits are crushed. He utterly understands. Let us praise him. He is our Lord and Savior in the fears of storms of life. His grace is sufficient. So let's turn the page. Here's the daily prayer for the journal. It's just two-page layout. But I like to read what is highlighted to remind us that His mercies are new every morning. His forgiveness is readily available. His compassion warms our hearts. Understanding soothes our mind. His love wraps around our lives. His protection delivers us from danger, and His promises inspire our souls every day. Standing on shaking grounds, we will experience less stress and emotional distress in our lives when we take refuge in His promises and become doer of His Word. And that is my prayer for all of you. His faithfulness is palpable and tangible when we journal His Word. I was able to build and rebuild an intimate relationship with him I never knew existed before I started journaling his word one day at a time. Jesus gives us the strength to take the next step. He knows the state of our hearts. Isaiah 40 verse 29. Rebuilding the relationship with the Lord was a gradual process for me, yet it was worth the time and commitment. The Lord is already ahead of us, working out every detail of our circumstances in a very timely fashion. Seek Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Abide in Him, as John chapter 15, verse 5 reminds us, I am divine, you are my branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit from apart from me. You can do nothing. On a note, cumulative stress, ongoing environmental stressors in one's life over a prolonged period has an adverse impact in our lives without a doubt. It affects us emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30, the Lord encourages all of us to cast our cares on Him. So by God, he's never changing. He's the same yesterday, today, and always. So let's take a look at how this journal is structured. And one more thing I'd like to share with you from these pages. It's a half a manuscript, a half a journal. The intimacy with the Lord is maintained by having daily quiet time every day. Reading his word, engaging in self-examination, and fervent prayer. So keep, keep that in mind. There will be an illustration of how to use this journal. 
for 52 weeks. But I wanted to share, let's see, a week worth of journaling. What I did was, this is the beauty of this journal. You can inscribe a verse or two a day and ponder and meditate and reflect on that verse alone. This coming week, I went ahead and did Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, Isaiah 65, verse 17, 19, 18, Proverbs chapter 16, 24, Romans 8, verses 37 through 39, Romans 8, verse 18, and verse 28. So it was about a verse or two a day. I went ahead and did the infrastructure, the um, five distinct spiritual disciplines. As I'm wrapping up the week, I did. I broke down a lot of these verses, and I focus on one that I like to make doer of his word. And one reflection was, do not lean on my understanding. I would like to repent my and believe. Lord, I do believe. So please forgive me for remembering for past mistakes and regrets. I count in my blessings. And this is the beauty of this journal. Once you have it inscribed a verse or two a day for the entire week, then you'll be able to pray over that a purposeful week. Listen to my quick prayer as I wrapped up the week. Lord, I want to receive a double portion. Rejoice in my inheritance and have everlasting joy. Yes, Lord, help me. I will find favor in the Lord. Help me trust in you alone and not lean on my own understanding. Yes, Lord, help me. I will be glad and rejoice forever in what you create, Lord. Yes, Lord, Gracious words are a honeycomb comb, so I want to always offer gracious words to my loved ones and to people that I work with in any given heated discussion or controversial conversation. In Christ, I'm much more than a conqueror. Yes, I am a conqueror, not a victim of my circumstances. Nothing can separate me from the love of the Lord, our only God. Thank you, Jesus. It is so comforting to know that to know that you're working things, all things, to work for the good of those who love you. In Jesus' name, I pray and praise. Amen. So that's pretty much how the week spread. It's a three-page layout. And so this is the cover of the new journal titled Journaling a Bible Verse or Two with the Bible Reading Journal Series Collection. You all have a blessed day and let's celebrate January 19th, 2021. It's our second year of ministry, starting a third year. And so the Bible Reading Journal series turns two in just a couple of days. God bless, and you all have a blessed day.